measure the actual CFM in the duct work, what you're going to need, you're going to need a tape measure, you need a drill. I use a drill with a three quarter inch step bit. You're going to need a mini vein anometer. This is a Testo mini vein anometer. And some type of square. I'll show you why I use a square. The first thing you need to do is we need to drill three holes in the ductwork. That way I can stick my probe in and we can measure the CFM. So what I do is that I measure the width of the ductwork. In this case it's 10 inches. So I put one right in the middle. So I put middle of the dot right 5 inches. And I get my square. I like to keep it, try to keep everything neat and in line. And I'll come out an inch, about two inches on each side. Come out this side. Alright. I'm going to come out two inches over here. Alright, so you get to three three spots. We're going to take our drill and drill us three holes. I want three quarter inch holes. small, light, fit in a lot of tool bags. Highly recommend them. They work really well. Alright, so now my, my holes are going to be straight across. It's going to look neat when we're done. I'm going to try to keep this as professional as we can. The next thing you're going to want to do is figure the square inches in the ductwork. To do that, you're going to take your width, which is 10 inches, the length, which is 23 and a half inches. And we're going to multiply them two together. Alright, so that's roughly going to be about 230 square inches. And on these mini vein anometers, we're going to power it on. We're going to push and hold the hold button. And this is where we're going to tell the meter how big our duct work is. So we're 230, we'll just say 235 inches. We're going to adjust this down. Two hundred and thirty-five inches. We'll cycle through the menu. I didn't this screen will pop up and it gives you your feet per minute. Then we're going to hit our mean button two times so our timer will come up. Then what we're going to do is hit the volume up and it takes my foot per minute to CFM. We want to measure CFM. Alright, so next what we're going to do is this telescopic so it extends out so you can get it all the way into the ductwork. We're going to stick this in the ductwork. Should have the blower running by now. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's going to start reading the CFM. This is kind of hard to do. But anyway, it's going to start hitting, reading the CFM. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this hold button. And when I do that, I'm going to slowly pull this out, and it's going to start timing it. It's going to keep an average of the CFM based on the time. And 
when I get to the end, I'm going to hit this again. That's going to stop the timer. Then I'll move it over to my next hose. Stick it in. We'll do the same thing. Let's, let's do this. We're going to stick it in all the way to the back. We're going to push the hole button. It's going to stop my, start my timer. And slowly start pulling it out. I'm going to try to make sure to keep this level and you don't twist it. You want that fan. I need to show you on the minute what, what the end looks like. Do that for just a second. So I push my hold again so my timer stops. I'm going to stick it all the way in again. I'm going to push hold again. That's going to start my timer. I'm going to start pulling it out slowly. See the little silver tip right there. You want to pull it or stop it. Move it over. bottom one it took me 35 seconds so it read for 35 seconds now we're going to average it if I push that mean button it's going to tell me what the furnace that's what we read 1026 CFM now what I'm going to do I'm going to do this three times and I'm going to get an average of them three times so I'm going to add all three together then we'll divide it by three but anyway my minivan monometer all there is on this tip there's just a little bitty fan in there. It spins. You see that okay? They're really, really sensitive. So that's what the